Hello, I'm Miss Khan and I'm here to talk to you about Philosophy A-Level. Philosophy A-Level has two sides of the course taught by two expert teachers. I teach the Moral Philosophy and the Metaphysics of Mind and Mr Sanger teaches Epistemology and Metaphysics of God. I'm going to pass you over to Mr Sanger to tell you about his side of the course. Hi there, my name is Mr Sanger and I teach the Epistemology and Metaphysics of God sides of the course. Um, it is the study of individuals who ask deceptively simple questions, which never seem to have simple answers, but leave us wondering more. Um, in year 12, we study the definition and nature of knowledge and how we perceive things around us with our senses and whether or not we have knowledge from birth, innately, or if it comes from experience of the world around us. In year 13, we study the metaphysics of God, which includes pondering, pondering the nature of time, space, causation in the universe and reality itself. These also include philosophical arguments for and against the existence of God and how convincing you find these. It is a subject which is about the hunt for knowledge, but at the same time, a journey which helps us clarify ideas and thoughts and remove misunderstandings about the world we live in. In first year in moral philosophy, we study secular systems of ethics. We think about what it is that they say and why they say um, certain actions are moral or immoral. We also apply those to various different ethical ideas like stealing, telling lies and simulated killing, such as what happens in the video game. We also consider something called meta-ethics. Meta-ethics is asking questions like, what does it mean when we say the word good or bad? Are we telling people what they should be doing? Are we expressing emotion or are we referring to some actual quality in the world which is good or bad? It also looks at where those morals come from, so it overlaps quite a lot with things that you might be studying in psychology or sociology. In second year, we do metaphysics of mind, which is looking at what it means to say somebody has a mind. We'll be looking at questions like whether or not computers can think and how we would know that, whether or not we could ever know that. We think about whether or not people's experiences are the same. Perhaps somebody might see colour in a different way. What I see as red, you might perhaps see as blue. Would that make a difference to how they acted or would it not? Can we even assume whether or not anyone else is actually thinking? Maybe you are the only thing that thinks in the world. These are really interesting topics that we are looking at and are some of the fundamentals if you wanted to go on to study philosophy further that you would be looking at. One of the questions that we're asked pretty much every time we introduce philosophy is what even is it as a subject? It's a totally new subject that you won't have studied in the same way um, in lower school at all in any area. It is uh, kind of looking at the big questions of existence. What does it mean to say things exist? And that's doing that in a secular context. So unlike something like RPE, you are not looking at it in a religious lens. We are engaging in an original text that philosophers have written way back into, into like prehistory. And we are looking at what those really mean. So it's teaching you critical analysis skills and you will be taught those to make sure that you are able to engage and construct your own arguments and defend your points of view really, really clearly. The other questions we often get asked is about why we ask for maths as a requirement. Seeing as it's a mainly written subject, people are often wondering why. And the main thing it boils down to is logical thinking. Logical thinking is a huge part of philosophy. We found maths teaches this really well. Um, so those students who do have a five in maths come into philosophy with a much clearer sense of what is involved with the logical thinking and so are able to construct arguments really well. In terms of achievement, our students have been doing exceptionally well. We are now consistently in the top 25% of all centres for philosophy in the UK and our progress and our results are in those high levels as well. So we will help you achieve really, really well. In terms of progression, we have a strong history of getting people into really competitive courses. Philosophy is a really highly valued subject, not just at universities, but also for apprenticeships. They're valuing the skills that it teaches you of analysis, clear writing skills and evaluation. Although it's not often mentioned on university prospectuses or um, job things, it's not actually because they don't know what it is. It's more because so few people study it across the country um, that there don't see much point in writing about it. We've had really positive things from admissions tutors who are saying that they really value it as a subject. 
I hope that gives you a really good overview of what philosophy is all about. And I'm looking forward to be seeing you in September. Bye.